G'day trendsetters, welcome to Canberra, Canberra, no it's Canberra, the capital city of Australia. There is Parliament House which I guess you could say is the equivalent of Congress in Washington DC which I've ridden in many times, love DC, you can check it out. Some of my videos linked in the description below. Today's a pretty informal ride, just stooging around Canberra with no plan, an easy recovery day, we've had a couple of long days need some relaxation there's lgc of course my partner in everything there is the coat of arms of australia on the left the kangaroo and on the right the emu that's emu not emu emu would be an electronic cow Bob Hawk, absolute legend, rest in peace. And here's the view from the front of Parliament House. The white building in the shot is the former Parliament House. We might come back for a tour inside the building once we parked the bikes, didn't bring a lock with me to lock up the bike, etc. They do have parking downstairs, I understand, near the car park if one is so inclined to stall the bicycle whilst you have a gander inside. Not a lot of wind around today to see the flags here. Now this is old Parliament House, which was still a pretty fine building. Nowadays, old Parliament House is the Museum of Australian Democracy. Old Parliament House Gardens. Parliament House Tennis Courts. the other side of the old Parliament House building.
LGC, where's your rose and handbag? Kid is quite fetching with the roses. For the record, uh, trendsetters, LGC is a former tennis player, and I think she's chomping a bit to have a whack on the racket at the parliamentary tennis courts. That'd be pretty cool. Maralangaling, National Archives of Australia. It's very quiet here today. Writing on December 29, 2023, the period between Christmas and New Year's. There is the Treasury Building. And for those folks wondering, you can see it in shot. On the left, the Australian flag. On the right, the Aboriginal flag. So this little pathway here, there's a, well, there's many Australian of the Year placards. I remember this lady quite well when I was living in Australia. I think she's passed on now, but Australian of the Year, Joan Sutherland, leading soprano. Jack Brabham, absolute legend. Legendary tennis player. And Wimbledon champion. And two legends right here. Alan Bond, the bloke behind the 1984 America's Cup yacht race victory over the United States. Sorry, American fans. The winged keel ruled supreme that year. And that's when we first saw the boxing kangaroo flag. I love that flag. Another legend right there, Rob DiCostella, world champion marathon runner. Paul Hogan, who a lot of you may know as Crocodile Dundee. I remember him from the Paul Hogan show, which was a pretty interesting show with his sidekick Strop. And uh, what was the, the other lady's name in the show? Anyway, classic 1970s entertainment, which is likely not PC nowadays. Dick Smith, adventurer and philanthropist, also founder of the Dick Smith Electronics chain here, and uh, I believe the world's first Vegemite knockoff. I f***ing love Vegemite. It goes with everything, like these almonds. Some of you music fans may recognise Mr. John Farnham, bit of a legend in Aussie music, at least. Alan Border, absolute legend of cricket. For those so inclined, he was the Capitano. Kathy Freeman, Young Australian of the Year, Commonwealth gold medalist. I think her 400 metres or 200 metres run was her specialty, I don't recall. Another Aboriginal leader from the Northern Territory, Mundawai Yunupingu, and Kieran Perkins, who I remember being an Olympic swimmer. Before Ian Thorpe, aka the you Thorpedo. Kathy Freeman gets another mention here, this time as Australian of the Year. Slim Dusty. Country music legend here in Australia, Senior Australian of the Year. Maybe one day I'll make that list. Senior Aussie of the Year, Codger on a bike. There we go, Ian Thorpe, Young Australian of the Year. He went up against Michael Phelps in the Olympics and well, we see Michael Phelps. He's a bit of a legend in his own right, obviously. Won a lot of medals. He also uh, imbibed, I think, in uh, the old 420. <laughs> He's also been on the cover of a Wheaties box. When you've made it on a Wheaties box, you know you're doing something right in life. Another legendary cricketer, Stephen War. Another well-known tennis player, Leighton Hewitt. LGC likes the tennis players. Lee Kernigan, Casey Stoner. Remember him quite well, Moto World GP champion. A lot of my Aussie friends may remember Ita Buttrose. I believe she founded Women's Weekly magazine. My mum loved her. Rest in peace, Mum. Ash Barty makes the list. She has won Wimbledon and promptly retired. She did a George Costanza. She went out on a hype. And these spots are reserved for future winners of the Aussies of the Year awards. There are some really nice gravel roads on the outskirts of town. I have ridden in Canberra in the past. 
We won't be riding the gravelly roads less travel today, but I'll link that video. It's from a time when I was shooting mostly point of view, not as interesting as this roaming about the place with the handheld. There you go, poo carters. We're number one for your number twos. <laughs> Light rail is coming. This is Canberra, the city centre proper. Trams are pretty prolific here in Canberra nowadays. Birthed the tram network a few years ago. They were still building it out when I last visited. Oh, I guess that was at least six years ago. So around about 2017, something like that. I confess to not knowing Canberra too well. It's only my second visit to the capital city of Australia. So pardon the tour. There are probably better tours available, but worth your time to come visit and have a gander. G'day fellas, that's former Prime Minister Mr John Curtin and the Treasurer Ben Chifley. They're pretty distinguished gentlemen, uh, me probably not so much. I'm missing my suit and my hat and pipe. Around here somewhere is the Australian Tax Office if I recall. Not my favourite establishment, let's be honest here. There's the Attorney General's Department. That's the Hotel Carajong, pretty tasty, quite expensive, if you have to ask, well, yeah. Nearing the end of today's tour as we enter the suburb of Griffith. Radio Trendsetters, that wraps up today's Ride Experience video here in Canberra, in the Australian Capital Territory, aka the equivalent of Washington DC, but a bit smaller and quite a bit uh, quieter, especially around the public holiday period. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel for interesting ride experience videos such as this one. No bull gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, and of course, general madness. Tuesday loves Vegemite. Good girl. And have you seen our rental van? It's pretty subdued. Don't forget to call 136T if you need a van. And I'm not making a bloody dime off this or a cent off this promotion here. I'll see you in the next video.